So hello, in this video I will show you how to um, try to measure spots uh, in a specific region of the image. So in order to do that uh, we will have to use some masking techniques. Um, and to do masking we need to uh, create first a surface, so let's do this here. We will use um, the default parameter, we don't need to classify it, nor do we need to do so many calculations here. We will use uh, the green channel and there's no need to do background subtraction. We really just need to get a rough outline of the region we want to measure, which is uh, here in this case I want to count the number of spots here. So let's move on here. Maybe we can again increase a bit the smoothing factor 0.2 like this and we really want to make sure we include the parts that we want to uh, measure here. And we can directly finish the creation because now what we want to do uh, is uh, cut this object. So let's edit this surface here and just put our cut line maybe somewhere here. So I shift click here. Okay cut across this axis and let's separate this branch from the rest so if I select this object again shift click here cut surface and shift click here cut surface so now we have uh, many objects but the one we are interested in is this one and here uh, within this edit tab we can do mask selection and when we do this here we have the option to duplicate the channel so let's do this um, and leave the rest of the values uh, with the default values that's okay now we have access to a new channel here, so I can remove this uh, surface object because it's not needed anymore. And if I uncheck the original channel, what's left here is really the part where we want to do our measurement. So here we have quickly defined manually a region uh, where we want to do our spot detection. So let me just quickly show you how we, I would do that. I would now click add new spots. Um, here uh, we could classify them, uh, do different spot sizes. And here make sure we want to use the, the new channel because it's the masked one here. We have to have an estimation of um, the XY diameter and also if they are they look elongated we can have um, ovoid shapes instead of uh, spheres so we can also try to see that so uh, the best way again to do such an evaluation is to switch to slice mode here and have a look here for instance here the diameter is 0.36 here 0.21 34 okay so around 0.3 so this is in the xy direction so if you want to measure let's say something in the y direction sorry let's click here and move the slice so this one is probably already gone 
at this point and here the distance is 0 0.5 let's try with another object which is maybe a bit easier to measure so let's try with this one here still present here and gone here so here the distance is roughly one micron so this is really a rough estimation if we, if we want to be more precise what i would do at this point is uh, maybe do a resampling to get a better idea anyway we will stick with this because uh, this corresponds roughly to the estimation i made so uh, they are really good at uh, providing uh, good starting points here uh, maybe this is a bit too high let's put this to 4.4 and we can leave uh, this to 0.9 but it's really being nitpicking at this point so let's continue here so now we can uh, include uh, more or less uh, spots by uh, playing with the quality and other filters uh, so if we plan to do a classification it might be a good idea to not exclude spots uh, already at this time but do this afterwards uh, at the classification step here uh, we have to estimate the size of the um, uh, different spots so make sure you are looking at uh, the right position so let's hide the volume for a moment so we can see with the slice tool here um, how it looks like and I would say something like this might be quite accurate so now we are at the classification step and we can decide how to classify those spots so again we have different filter types um, taking one parameter two parameters or just plain machine learning so here let's say we want to classify the spots um, by the volume so we can quickly show uh, which are the large spots and which are the small ones and we can finish the analysis here so if i put my whole volume back with all the channels maybe something like this you can see that we have now uh, done our spots uh, measurement and classification across just one part of our data set so we can now have uh, numbers here uh, just for this uh, specific branch okay so i hope uh, this will help you and have fun bye bye